Hi guys, my name is Valerie and today we're gonna be exploring Smiho, also known as Prague Manchester because of how many factory chimneys this place used to have, even though now we can only see two, one here and one over there. In this video, we're going to explore both the residential and the industrial part of Smiho. We'll visit the most famous sites of this neighborhood, like the Church of St. Wenceslas, Starop Ramen Brewery and Andil Station. We will also show you the hidden spot that explains the name of the station and other places that don't even look like they are in Prague. It is not clear where the name Smichov comes from, but some people say it originated from the word to laugh. Smatse, after a knight who escaped his execution by jumping from Vyshegrad to the opposite side of the river on his horse, laughed at the duke who wanted to kill him. Haha, <laughs> loser. But we do know that some kind of settlement existed here during the times of Charles IV. Smichov was a worker's quarter, where you would find Starop Ramen Brewery and also Czechade that produced the famous Prague Red Tramps. Nowadays, instead of Czechade, you would find this giant shopping mall called Novi Smichov. You can get there by this bridge from where we are. Where are we, by the way? We are in the Park Sacre Coeur of a former monastery. It is a place with a little viewpoint lot of equipment for exercises. Okay, we will do a workout now, guys. Come over here. Oh my god, this is really heavy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Wow, I didn't know that I'm so weak. I need to lift. Okay, let's check out this one. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm tired. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> oh. The guns are growing under the whatever. <gasps> oh my god, you have to like balance here. Oh. Am I am I so good or I just I'm just dumb and I didn't figure it out. <laughs> it's not so difficult. Oh. Well this is obviously for like older people. Still I I, I still sucked at <laughs> Some of the old people in Czech Republic are strong. Like if you, you can lift that, I'm impressed. Oh, good job. The grandpas kick ass. Grandmas as well. Next to this park, you can visit the beautiful Neo-Romanesque Church of Saint Gabriel, which often has exhibitions, so you can go inside. And if you have a lot of time, you can also go visit Kinski Garden, which is downhill from the church. We unfortunately don't have time to visit it today because we are going somewhere else. But first, coffee. This cafe is called Boomerang and it's inspired by Australia, of course. The coffee and snacks were very tasty. I'm definitely marking this coffee place on my trusty coffee places list. And now to what I've been looking forward to, Lesser Town Cemetery. Is it weird that I'm so excited about it? Well, to my defense, it is a historical cemetery, not an active one. It was founded in 1680 during the plague epidemic. Also wanted to tell you guys why is this cemetery called Lesser Town Cemetery when we are not in Lesser Town anymore, we're in Smichov. It's because most of the cemeteries were built outside of the city walls, especially after the reforms done by Joseph II. And if the cemetery was established because of the uh, plague epidemic, like it was uh, in the case of this one, eventually the city expanded, right? The new quarter was established here, Smichov. Uh, and they ended up with this cemetery, which they opened we don't use anymore because it's uh, very very old <laughs> so 
So I don't usually get scared on the cemeteries, but every time I see a tomb with cracks, like these, makes me a bit uneasy, not gonna lie. I'm like, <laughs> stay there. How are you doing, Václav? Are you enjoying this walk through the cemetery? I'm feeling very alive. The cemetery was active till 19th century and has a lot of really beautiful tombstones. For example, this one that belongs to Leopold Leonard, Count of Thun. A little art nerd moment for you guys. In the 19th century, sculptors were not getting a lot of job opportunities anymore. Previously, they were mainly working for monastic orders, churches, cathedrals, and those were not built so much. It was already kind of the uh, enlightenment period. Yeah, so instead of a lot of churches, there were uh, schools built and other like public institutions. One of the only job opportunities they were getting uh, were connected to creating tombstones for cemeteries. Now from the quietness of the cemetery, we return to where? Giving you a hint here to the buzz of the Andel station. Andel means angel in Czech. It is the name of the metro and tram stops here. And it is hard to think of a busier place in Smichov than this one. I don't really like to come here to hang out, but I do appreciate this shopping mall for having pretty much everything a person might need. Next to it, we have a legendary place, by the way. Do you recognize it? Yeah, this is where Berlin scene was shot in the movie Eurotrip. Well, here it is, guys. The place where one of the most iconic movies <laughs> was filmed, Eurotrip. And this is, a, this is not uh, sarcastic. I really think that it's a great movie. Well, right now the place looks exceptionally ugly. Uh, the trees look like they don't even have a hint of leaves. I didn't know that it's possible to have trees so bare. I've been here many times because I used to go to the cinema here before the plague. <laughs> now you have to sit for the for two hours with a respirator and um, that's not my cup of tea, if I say that. And the restaurant is pretty nice. Expensive, uh, average prices, but okay. Anyway, let's go somewhere more fun. Okay, now to the important question. Why is this station called Angel or Angel? A lot of people think it's because of the metro station, but the original name of the station was not Angel, it was Moskevska. It was built in 1980s, and according to this plaque, it symbolizes the friendship between Czechoslovakia and USSR. You know, everyone has a friend who <coughs> invades your privacy. So no, the name Andio doesn't come from a metro station. It comes from a small house that used to stand here in 19th century and which had a fresco of the golden angel. The house was destroyed in 1980 and 20 years later a famous French architect Jean Nouvel built this complex and called it Golden Angel after the original house. You cannot see it much in this light, but besides the quotes of famous writers who lived in Prague, you can also see a large figure of an angel looking down at crowds of people and busy traffic, like in the movie Wings of Desire that the image was inspired by. But here is a little secret for you. If you walk towards the metro, you will stumble upon this pizzeria with steps up. Those will bring you to the original image of the golden angel from the house that was demolished. This fresco was reconstructed, but it comes from 1870 and was probably made by Václav Brožik. Now let's look at one of the most iconic structures of Smichov. On the way there you can find a cute little park with, surprise, an early baroque fountain. We've been here last summer because just across the street is the house where Albert Einstein lived for a year and a half. We will leave a video about him here, so you can watch it after this one. Anyway, we made it to one of the most famous sites of Smichov, a neo-renaissance church of Saint Wenceslas. Here Václav is hinting to you that he is a namesake of Saint Wenceslas. The church is stunning and we recommend going inside, but be aware that they are only opened in the morning. Next to the church you can find Portheimka a Baroque villa where one of the most hipster cafes in Smichov is located. Actually, another place we can recommend at this spot is Local Block, a great restaurant with a beer garden, and also Manifesto Market slightly further away. 
All this talking about food made me hungry. Luckily, we are heading somewhere where finding a good restaurant won't be a problem. But first, we have to walk there through typical Smichov streets, spacious and wide. Here it is, Staropramen Brewery. I mean, it's hard to miss it thanks to this giant bottle that I decided to take a picture with without realizing that it looked weird. Well, at least I made few people laugh. Smichov Brewery was founded in 1869, pretty much as soon as the law allowed Smichov citizens to do that. They couldn't wait anymore, guys. Beer's life. Staropramen trademark was created only in the early 20th century, but the brewery here is the second biggest brewery in the Czech Republic. Smells like Czech Republic, guys. They do have tours, which seem to be quite popular, but we didn't have time to do that, so we just cut the chase and went to Staropramen's most famous restaurant, Naverantach, which was opened in 1871. Now it's part of the famous chain Potrefina Husa, also owned by Staropramen, which we actually recommend. It is a trusty Czech restaurant chain where you will be able to try most Staropramen's beer types on tap. So now we explored residential Smichov. But there is another part of the area. We still have to see that other side. Looks wonderful, right? This is the part of Smichov that still screams depression, which made it very attractive for people who founded this place, Meat Factory. Meat Factory is a contemporary art center and gallery. Meat Factory has some of the most bizarre exhibitions in Prague, and no wonder, because it was founded by this guy, David Czerny, the author of these statues. So if you like weird art exhibitions, you will love it here. Meat Factory might be located in the industrial suburbs of Smichov, but urban developers already started some constructions here. So soon it will most likely be another residential area. We have another place to visit here though. It is called Emperor's Meadow. Spoiler, there's no meadow now. It is an artificial island, and at times it looks like you're gonna get murdered here. But in summer, it is a popular place to go on boat rides, play golf, and they also have yacht club here. Well, we don't have a yacht, but we could get on a ferry. The ferry boat has a stop on the far end of the island, and it took us around 25 minutes to walk there. But the views of Visegrad on the way were worth it. The ferry was 20 crowns and saved us at least 40 minutes of getting back to the city center. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in our next video.